right, folks. This is a big deal. Now, that one of your fellow students right here, Jacob Schaefer, challenged me yesterday, along with my buddy and friend, David Maxwell, president of Drake University, to do this. Now, cyclones are always up for a challenge, so I said yes. But more importantly, Janet, my wife and I, Janet, have a dear friend in northern Minnesota right now battling for her life against this horrible disease. And I know her and her family will be very pleased to know that Janet and I and Iowa State University are doing everything we can to raise awareness for ALS and the associated diseases and do what we can to raise money for ALS cures. So we're going to do our part, but we can't do it all alone. We need help. And I'm going to get some help. I saw Jeff Johnson out, out there. I see him right now. He knows I'm looking at him. Jeff is head of our alumni association. His whole board's with him. Jeff, I expect you to be part of this, too. He's in. And I'll tell you, as new freshmen, we don't do anything here without our partners in the city of Ames. All the things we do, you'll see Campus Town changing. We do that economic development with our partners in Ames. So I'm challenging the head of economic development, Dan Colhane from the city of Ames, to do this with me. And I want to choose a third one. You may not know it yet, but we have a wonderful partnership that's growing with North Carolina A&T State University, one of our counterparts in North Carolina. And I'm challenging my good friend, the chancellor there, Harold Martin, to also take part in this challenge. So we're gonna do what we can here, and we're gonna spread the word, raise money, raise, aware, raise awareness for ALS. So you may not see this again, but you're gonna see it today. 